Hello, uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to create your very own uh, mail client that you can send email with uh, using C Sharp Visual Studio 2008. Uh, I'm making this due to a email request from one of my viewers, so if you have any requests make sure to send them to me. Um, I've already built the GUI uh, interface that we're going to be using, uh, so let's go ahead, and <coughs> go ahead and write the code for this. Uh, we'll double click on the send button just to uh, auto create the code for the send and before we get started we have to add a few using statements just to import some stuff we're going to be using system.net and system can't spell net.mail just add those two in there okay and on the button click uh, we're going to create a new SMTP client, just name it client, and this would be the SMTP server that you'll be using, and I don't currently own an SMTP server uh, or don't know any that I can use, so I'm just going to do and then the port you commonly use is 25 for SMTP and then uh, you can also add uh, cr cr credentials to your client by doing client.client dot uh, credentials and then you do equals new network credential and then it's usually a string that's the username so user at company.com and the string being the password. That would be if your uh, SMTP server required logging in with the username or password. All right, and now we have to create a uh, mail message. So just do mail message, just message equals new mail message. I don't actually think we have to put anything in there. Oh, we can put the from or to in there, but let's just go ahead and do it this way. And then we're going to do message dot from equals new mail address. And then the string of the address, and that would be f text from dot text. And then we can also add a display name. Um, any name you want to display instead of the email. Uh, we're going to leave that blank since we don't really need that. Uh, message to again equals new mail address text to dot text Oh, actually you do message.to.add, sorry about that. Then it's new mail address. A little bit different on the two, since I think you can add multiple people, which is why they did it that way. All right. <coughs> message.subject equals text subject, and you can pretty much see how this is going. There's a lot of different things you can do with message. You can send attachments, um, set its priority, pretty much do a lot of different things. Uh, message dot body equal text body text. And then if you want to add an attachment, you do message dot attachments dot add. Then you give the uh, a string of where the attachment is, so something like see users, my documents, whatever. I don't know how this really goes. I don't actually have a file that's this. And then uh, we add, say, like text plain or application octet stream it's different so make sure to look up uh, like if you have a text document you're just sending it would be text plain etc and it's actually a new attachment 
another one of those. Media type is what you're adding. And then when you want to send the uh, message, you just do whatever you named your SMT client. This, in this instance, it's client. Send. And then you just do message. And then you should probably put a little error handling code in here. still a simple air handling and in this case it will throw an exception because this is completely false information but let's go ahead and go through it anyway just so you can see what it looks like um, And you can see as we step through this, creates a new SMT client and a new message. And as we add all these things, including the attachment, which failed because it didn't actually find the attachment. But regardless, if we look at our message here, you can see the subject, the body, the from, just all the different things you can add. A few, the things that are null are things that I actually haven't added. But um, that's basically how you send a message using SMTP in C Sharp. If you would like to see any more tutorials on Visual C Sharp uh, and Visual Studio 2008, make sure to leave a comment, uh, subscribe to all my videos, and stop by my website and my forums, which are in my description. Uh, this is Quackware signing out.